One of the last tools I'd like to show you is something that you would use likely if you know more about the show that you're preparing for than one where you're not sure what's going to happen. It's also a good way to set up a show in an environment where the operator may change frequently. So in House of Worship, for example, where volunteers are running the console or where anybody who's not completely fluent in the way the system works might have to play back a show based on, again, minimal information. This method is a good way to set yourself up for slightly automated but also live way of working. And that's to use the main playback area, which we haven't talked about much in this tutorial. But you can use the main playback as a structural tool. And we'll do that in this show file by using what's called the section marker. So this show was designed for a more live style of playback. And it used a main sequence to give the basic structure of the songs in the show. We can take a look at that by opening up this particular sequence. I'll close the direct select doc so you can see a little bit more of what's going on. So when we're looking at this sequence list for the sequence on the main playback, you can see this is a preset sequence, so it's using and reusing preset numbers over and over again, which is a convenient way to work if you like to use the same number to mean the same thing all the time. In this case, blackouts are always 500. The pause between songs is always 550. And they repeat themselves as you look through the sequence. Whenever a blackout is needed, preset 500 is used. It makes the numbering easy to remember. The other thing that you see in here is the indication of section markers. So this step that plays back preset number 90 is in a lighter gray color, and that's because it's been given a section marker indication. You can find that indication over here on the right side of the table. Those section markers, remember, create that blue bar indication in the main playback which we can look at here. So you can see those blue bars correspond to those section marker positions. And in this particular show file, each one of those marked steps, those sections, if you will, there's an action macro. And that action macro, similar to the one I showed you before, it loads a specific page number to the bottom row of faders on the console so that whenever you jump to the beginning of a specific song or scene or act or however it is your show is put together, that the faders get specific content for use during the show live. So the structure comes from the main playback, but all of the whiz-bang stuff that you want to show the audience is actually coming from a more busking style of operation. How much or how little of this you choose to use, again, that's up to you. In this show, those section markers create buttons that correspond to individual songs, for a band who may or may not give you a set list before the show starts, but it could equally be worship songs that are played in different combinations every week during services. It could be buttons that indicate simple occurrences in your show, like a blackout, a fade to black, a walk-in look, a podium look, a another podium look, depending on how your show is put together. Just build those looks into your sequence that's on the main playback and set those section markers. And then, more importantly, use a mouse here. You can set the type of data to section marker, and now you can see all of those buttons show up, showing you the name of the song, the name of the look, the name of the occurrence in the show, whatever it is that suits your needs including things like run a blackout, run the pause fade, or run the fade to black without having to be within this context of an actual song. So this reduces your full playback of the show to go to commands that are triggered by a single button press, no numbers, just text that you've created. These are some ideas on how you can use Cobalt in a live or busking situation. The key here is that you set up the console to suit your needs. And hopefully, I've given you some hints about how you might go about doing that. Thanks.